Hey everybody! So here we are in chapter 17, just flying through this material. <laughs> and here we have Japan before 1333. So learning objectives, you might find something fascinating in here you'd like to talk about in your final paper. And the timeline is such a great summary of uh, everything that's taken place so far. And I highlighted um, one of the really most important points that you might find fascinating. Okay, here's the map of Japan before 1333. And this is the aerial view of the Horiyuji Temple Complex. So note that ceramic tile was the roofing material the Japanese builders of the Kondo, or the Golden Hall, of the Horiyuji derived from the Chinese model. So they're already, you know, borrowing from each other. During the Nara period, we see we're in the Nara period right here, uh, close relations and exchanges with China shorten the times between developments in China and their transfer to Japan. So the Nara period building that saw Buddhist dignitaries from China and India attend its dedication is the Daibu Tsuden in Todeji, but, um, okay, that's not, not this building, <laughs> or not in this complex, but it is notable. Okay, here's the Golden Hall or the Kondo. The sculptor who created the bronze Shaka triad or triad for the Horiyuji Kondo of the Horiyuji complex, which we just saw all of it, was Tori Bushi. So notice, I mean, they don't mention that artist here, but that's something that is really notable. In 1949, a catastrophic fire destroyed the decorated interior walls of the Golden Hall in Horiyuji. Sadly. This is kind of amazing to me. All right, so we are now we're at 2500 BCE. So this is called a flame style vessel. And and we are in the earliest art producing culture to develop in Japan, and that is called the Jamon. The earliest Japanese artworks are <clears throat> Jamon ceramics, and the Jamon culture developed ceramic technology. The artistic period that produced this flame style vessel is the Jamon, so really important era. Okay, this is the Da Taku with incised figural motifs. The two cultures of people of Japan that increase interaction with the Yayoi period are China and Korea. So it's all coming together. During the Yayoi period, when villagers grew in size and developed fortifications, people continued living in pit dwellings. So think about this. We're way back in time again, but now we're in Japan. Okay, this is an aerial view of the tomb of Emperor Nintu Nintoku. The standard shape for the central mound of tumuli tomb, um, during the Kofun period is a keyhole. Isn't that cool? I'm just, I think it's so gorgeous. Look at that aerial view. The funeral practices of the Kofun period are described as placing the dead atop a sacred mountain. Sounds good. All right, so we, here we have a Japanese warrior. Very different than the Chinese with the, you know, style of uh, warrior-like wear. Okay, this is the Honden of Isa Jingyu. Okay, so gosh, this one's a big one. The original inspiration for the form of the main hall, or Honden, right here, at the shrine of Issa Jing, Jingji, or Jingju, is an early, early granary. So this would have been, you know, a place where they uh, manufacture grains. The deity associated with this Issa shrine is Amara, Ama Terasu, Ama Terasu. The wooden Issa shrine is rebuilt every 20 years to maintain its spiritual purity. 
The structure that appears in this image is the East Shrine. And uh, this is the mortise and tenon construction method. And it was used to construct the Issa Shrine. A lot of notes there. Okay, this is the Tori. Notice that this is the condo. The Korean ruler of Baekje. 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 Sent to the ruler of Japan a statue of Buddha and the Buddhist sculptures during the uh, Asuka period. So apparently this was a gift. Okay, now we have the style of the Yakushi Triad. It can be traced back to its origin in India. Hmm, I'm not surprised. Historians believe Buddhism arrived in Japan in 552. So that would have been um, what do we call it now? It's not BCE, it's A after the, hold on. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the condo again. And here we have a pagoda. So in Japanese sacred architecture, pagodas served as a shelter for relics. Huh. They, this was their original function to house relics of the Buddha. Fascinating. Okay, this is the Amida Triad. Painters and sculpture, sculptors um, of the Amida Buddha descending with a retinue to greet his followers were popular with members of the Paradise Six. So that's just a group of people. Here we have the Dai Butsudin that we talked about earlier. And the womb world. How how cool is this? So the Tai Zokai Mandara is an artwork in the tradition of Shignan Buddhism. Mandara artwork served as an aid to meditation and visualization in Shignan Buddhism. So if you know anything about uh, the Buddhist mandala and how um, it's a place where your mind can travel um, to different rooms in a mandala. So this is like the precursor to that. Okay, here's the Phoenix Hall in Biodoen uh, with its light exterior pillars, elevated wings, and a reflecting pond. It's a physical metaphor for Buddha's palace in the Pure Land. It's all about Buddha. And the sculpture of the wooden statue of the Amida in Phoenix Hall, which is this, is Joko. Joko. He was the sculptor. Okay, this is a hugely famous artwork. The Genji visits Morisaki. In the tale of Genji. Okay, so lots of stuff about this. The story told in the tale of Genji hand scrolls differs from Chinese prototypes such as Gu Kazai's admonition scroll as it focuses on emotionally charged personal relationships. In the tale of Genji, hand scrolls, the plant that came to symbolize fading life and love in the autumn season is the bush clover. This scene is derived from the large work of the Tale of Genji Hand Scrolls. The device that the artist of the illustrations in the Tale of Genji Hand Scrolls uses to show the interior space of a building is that he painted the room with a ceiling or a roof. And the script of the Tale of Genji Hand Scrolls were originally written in Hiragana. So that is just like the language. And the women of the court were the first users of Hiragana script, which became the primary medium for writing court poetry during the Heian period. Here we are, Heian period. So I told you there was a lot. It's an important one. Okay, now we're in the Fujiwara period of the Heian clan, and it had a strong influence in the imperial court over several generations. 
So gosh, I really don't know why, but it did. <laughs> okay, so here we have the legends of Mount Shiki. The title of the narrative work from this il illustration is The Legends of Mount Shiki. The legends of Mount Shiki represent a type of narrative hand scroll painting belonging to the genre of pious Buddhist tales. Notable. Cool, right? Portrait statue. This looks like a real person. Okay, this is a Kosho. All right, now we have another super important artwork. During the Kamakura period, there was more frequent and positive contact with China, uh, bringing the Zen or Chan Buddhism belief system to Japan. The Kamakura sculptor Kosho, which we talked about in the last work, uh, fashioned his figures, such as the Buddhist priest Kuya, out of wood. During the Kamakura period, the shogunate became the dominant socio-political force in Japan. So I, I just always think of like Shogun, that famous film in, in film history, if you've ever seen it. Very interesting. So we're in that time period. The sculptural style that was prevalent in the Kamakura period is realism. How about that? The individual who guided the reconstruction of the temple of Todajai, right here, in the Kamakura period is Shunjobo Shogen. Good to remember. And okay, now we're into a ha another hand scroll. The subject of this ink and color hand scroll illustration is the night attack of, Sh of Sanjo Palace. This painting narrates the events of the Heian period. So Heian. We talked about that in previous slides. Okay, here we have the Amida descending over the mountains. The subject of the scene of this hanging scroll is Amida descending over the mountains. And we have a few additional notes in case you're interested in making one of those your topic in the future and discussion questions. Same deal. Okay, that's it for Ancient Japan.